Welcome back to Off Grid Roadrunner Ranch. This week we have something special. We're helping our neighbors finish installing their power supply to their home, their generator slash inverter system. In this video, we're going to go over some of the finer details on how to hook up a large generator to the EG4. Now, if you can't hook up an EG4 and that's uh, out of your wheelhouse, I would suggest not doing this. So that's why I'm not going to touch on installing the EG4s because there's plenty of videos out there. And if you don't have that skill set, I wouldn't try to attempt this. The panel on the left here is the house panel. It goes from the EG4s to the home. The one major thing that you want to always make sure on these EG4s is when you hook up the breakers into the house panel, that you make sure line one goes to line one and line two goes to line two. Don't mix them up. Now I'm installing a control wire here. This wire is just basically two wires that tells the generator to turn on and turn off. I'm just using regular irrigation wire. It's a small gauge wire, cheap. That's all I had right there. So that's what I'm using. Now this system has a large generator, a 26 kW. And this uh, generator, plenty to charge the batteries in a short amount of time and supply the home power at the same time. So that's kind of the goal here is to turn it on and put a lot of power into the batteries and then turn it off as soon as they're done. That way they don't have to spend a lot of money on fuel. All right, y'all. So Sammy and Chris got a whale because they have goats, y'all. So we about to go see the goats and I guess I'll show you guys the whale a little bit. All right, so that's their whale solar panels stretch it hey how y'all doing what y'all been up to got some chickens going on running around hey you want to say hi to the camera yeah? Hi! Say hi! Are you watching over the goats? Alright now. You got lost because it was lightning and thundering and you left for three days. Where you been? Where you been? Meanwhile, meanwhile, while you left for three days, two goats, two baby goats got eaten, two chickens, and then you come back home. Now this panel right here below the EG4, that one comes from the generator into this panel and then to the EG4. Now this does a couple of things. It protects the EG4s and the generator and it also splits the generator line into two separate lines to go into each EG4. Now this one's just like the other panel. You wanna make sure each line stays on the same line Accordingly, you want line one going to line one, line two going to line two. Do not mix those up. It's very important. In this next little video, I have just gotten over sickness, so uh, my voice is really bad, and I apologize for the call. Um. But I got the uh, batteries of the goat. Cool. Awesome. Uh, awesome. Network. So now they can tell the exact percentage of those instead of just doing it by awesome. Instead of doing it by voltage, so that means that I can tell it they turn on it's twenty percent and turn off on eighty percent. Perfect. Percent reduced rate for the first however many hours we get says. Mm -hmm. And then what we can do is come back in two weeks or whenever that hours reach, and then we can turn it fully up so it doesn't oh. have to run. Yeah, yeah. Like then max the system out. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to do. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
do is max everything out. Mm -hmm. So you can punch as much power into the batteries and then that way it turns off and then you're yeah. done paying money. Like half an hour. Oh, no, I'm joking. <laughs> it, it might be able to, yeah, yeah. might be able to do it in less than an hour, I think, is what I'm shooting for. That would be great. Because I think based off of my fuzzy calculations, what, 16 hours on the battery with what I'm... It all depends on the time of year. This is 200 amps. I'm running every night off, and I have those lights running around my whole house. Mm -hmm. Washer and dryer, TVs, mm -hmm. computers, all that shit um, at our house is running 100 amps a night. Oh, okay. So, uh, I don't know what the day is doing, but I'm assuming it's the same. So you're looking at 200 amps for the whole day, so you should be doing, like, clicking on maybe once a day. That would be great. <laughs> Uh, so I'm going to tell it instead of, well, anything about 40, let's just say 50%. Mm -hmm. And it's going to sense the batteries. It's all hooked up now. It sense the batteries and then it's going to say, oh shit, I need to turn on the generator. And, all, and then that, my, my meter mm -hmm. will say that it's connected because it's not connected right now. Oh, I think you can't have that higher than the... should be on. There you go. So, that works. So, so that means that we're on. We so basically that's telling, that's sending a signal to the generator to say it's time to turn on. It's Chloe, y'all. Say hey to the YouTube family. Now, your next step is you want to hook up the two wires to the generator, the Generac. They have a kit that you can purchase from them that you have to deep in a couple of things and then hook up your two wires that control the generator. Now, the biggest problem with this is basically you're throwing away your warranty. They're going to tell you this wasn't meant to be like that. They tell you to pound sand if everything goes wrong ever. Now, that being said, if you hook this up correctly with a bunch of panels, this thing maybe never runs or runs very seldom. So it's a good solution. Now, once you hook up your two wires, the control wires to the generator, you have one more step. You have to go into the little control board here on the top and program a different setting to tell the generator to use the two wire control to start and stop the generator. This is all included with the kit that you purchased from Generac. They have the instructions how to do that. It's kind of a pain in the butt. I tried it many times, it didn't work, but eventually we got. So, all in all, I think this was a great system. I'm definitely going to do it in our home. And uh, what are your thoughts? Do you like the way this is set up? Do you have any suggestions? I like the fact that it's hooked to a 500 gallon propane tank. And it has pretty unlimited run time. So that's a positive about this. The next thing is, is the settings are all easy to change online check everything online including the generac this system has been running for almost a year now it went through the whole summer no problems it ran about two hours a day once a day so that pre that's pretty good i gotta admit now if you like our content please do us a favor like and subscribe and throw in a comment there would be great Talk to you later and stay tuned. We have more coming.